Europe is asking for time to study Spain's request to include Catalan, Galician and Basque in the EU's 24 official languages. They want more legal certainty and an estimate of the economic impact. So far, none of the ministers who met on Tuesday in Brussels to study it have opposed the idea outright, but almost all of them have doubts. Some fear a spillover effect of other regional languages. We need to have more investigation about the proposal, both when it comes to legal uh, questions and financial questions, so it's too early to say. What consequences it will have? Uh, there are uh, several and many uh, minority languages within the Uni European Union that are not official languages. Even the Finnish minister spoke in Catalan in Brussels on Tuesday, but to say that it's too early to decide. Junt hem de defensar uh, la diversitat lingüística de l'Union Europea, però també hem que coneixer les conseqüències de les nostres decisions. Així és massa aviat per prendre una decisió avui. Spain has offered to pay the costs and has announced that it will prioritize the language with the most speakers, that is, Catalan. Practically all speakers of the three languages also speak Spanish. But the Catalan language organization insists that this is a measure in favor of multilingualism. Tots els parlants del maltès, que és llengua oficial, parlen anglès. Tots els parlants de l'irlandès parlen anglès. I per tant, aquesta redundància, per dir-ho així, no és un argument sòlid perquè es produeix en altres casos d'altres llengües que ja són oficials. Spain presented the proposal in August and was looking for a quick approval in order to gain the support of the country's pro-independence parties. Pedro Sánchez needs their vote to form a new government. At the European level, its approval would mean, among other things, the translation of all EU documents, from treaties to press releases, and the permanent availability of interpreters in the institutions.